All right, guys, welcome back to the next part in Resident Evil 5. So where we're we picking up, we are chasing after Irving in a boat. And also, you know what? Good news, we can finally buy the Gatling gun. So you know what? Let's uh put this in my inventory. Let's try it out. Oops, I am just a mess right now. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get started. The next weapon I'm going to try to go for is the Tribal Bow for Sheva, which I believe you have to upgrade the base rifle all the way to unlock. What happened to Irving? Okay, so the thing with the Gatling gun is that obviously it has definite ammo, but the accuracy is god awful. And you can see the giant backpack on my back that kind of messes with my visibility. I mean, look at this. This is fucking crazy. I'm not hitting shit. Oh, I'm aiming a little bit too high. I can't even see my red dot. It's a pretty fun gun to use. But this with the Hydra, I mean, look at that. You can't even see where you're aiming. So. This is definitely not a gun I'm going to be using a whole lot of. I don't even know why I'm running this way. I don't even want that gold. I can't tell if it's the gun. I'm sure it probably is, but fuck it. I feel like I'm moving so slow right now. Can't tell if it's my imagination or not. My accuracy is going to be so bad at the end of this chapter. I just realized it doesn't, the red dot doesn't even work. I mean, look at that. It doesn't hit anything. You just kind of shoot. Oh, like I said, this is a fun gun to just mess around with, but... If you're taking it serious, don't bother trying to go for it. And the bow for Sheva is a much better choice. Or basically any gun with infinite ammo is a better choice than this. I wish she would get her big fucking head out of my way. Jesus, I can't see shit as it is. Luckily, I'm pretty sure this is the last gate that you have to open. But there is a guy with a machine gun right over here. Also, I did pass up another BSA emblem. It was by the... F oh, you fucking... Alright, so this time I went ahead and just cleared out all the bad guys with the RPG and make it a little bit easy for me. Since Sheva wants to run in front of bullets and shit and get herself killed. But yeah, also, um, 
obviously took off the Gatling gun. That thing was just too obnoxious. I hope she gets this quick. Or she's just gonna take her fucking time. I'm about to die, probably. Ooh, I got lucky. There's a treasure up here that's worth uh, a good amount of money, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. We're going to need all the health we can get because the boss battle coming up is kind of annoying. Might actually be a little bit easier to do since I have this RPG though. Oh shit. By the way, there's a free shotgun back there. I'm not going to go for it because I don't need it. It's almost like Capcom did not take this game serious at all because Irving is just so stupid. I mean, honestly. I'm really not sure if the RPG is the greatest option, but I'm going to try anyway. Are you... Are you fucking serious? Alright, well, Sheva died twice now. So, let's... Uh, this time, I'm trying something a little bit different. I did put her on that machine gun um, two times, and both times she fucking died. So, this time, I just gave her my hand cannon and told her to attack. So, hopefully, she's a little bit more vigilant and Something won't just get smashed by this fucking monster every fucking time. Alright, that's weird. He didn't do the side attack that time, so... God, I wish I could aim. Alright, well that was easy. Then think about using that RPG on them. So, if you don't have the infinite launcher, it might be beneficial to just buy an RPG and use it then.
Now what? We keep going. All right, well, that wraps up chapter three. Look at that accuracy, 9%. That's fucking crazy. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I'll see you guys in chapter four in the caves. And uh, thank you guys for watching.